What's up, fam? So right now we are on our way to Chela Vista. We're gonna go get some tacos at Tacos El Gordo, as I was saying earlier. I'm right now with my buddy Nathan. What's going on, guys? So we're just going down to San Diego, get some tacos, go to the beach, and um, try something different, and um, do a thing called meditating. Being in tune with your body, your soul, your mind, and um, it's just something different that um, I'm showing him, and something that helped me along the way. And um, so I'll just take you guys for the journey, and I uh, will see you guys soon. Touchdown in San Diego. Home sweet home, brothers. <sighs> What's that right behind me? What's that right behind me? Tito, Gabby, you know what that is. Home sweet home. Uh, we just got to Tacos El Gordo and get some, uh, some food. I love this place. Um, and then uh, we would go to the Coronado, go to the beach, and um, do our thing. But yeah, uh, I'll take you guys with us and uh, show you the food that we're going to be working with. This place is delicious. Real Mexican food. This is a spot that I love to come to when I'm in San Diego, uh, Tacos El Gordo. It was a spot that um, my ex-girlfriend, her family showed me and ever since then I've been coming here when I'm in town. It's delicious. So what I ordered was is seven Atabata tacos. Um, very simple, just sauce. And uh, he got the same, but he got it with like everything on it, so yeah gonna enjoy our meal. What'd you think, my man? So good. So good. Magic. Magic. Heaven. I am filled. This place is really, really good. Um, nothing close to it, like where we where we live. Um, it's like an authentic Mexican food. Uh, closest thing to TJ, I would say. But it, very delicious. Hope I'm saying this correctly, Atabata tacos. <laughs> Brothers! <laughs> we are on the way now to the beach. We're gonna go to PB, Pacific Beach. Um, not too far from here. There's a couple, um, you know, I was talking about this earlier, uh, how I don't go to the bars, and it's funny how I'm about to bring up that we're gonna go to a bar. Um, but I find this kind of like more of like a relaxing, chill environment where you don't have to drink, you don't have to like turn up, and the people there are just awesome. Um, definitely a different environment than like where we live. Um, you know, since I've grown up, San Diego, the people here are just cool calm and collective and just really laid back and i, I, and I enjoy that it, you know it's a, it's a good vibe so that's where we're gonna head i'm gonna show him to the spots down there and um you know just take you along for the ride and then check out the beach because the beach is literally like two steps over from the bar all right so the plan was to go to a bar too we got bored really quick because that is not uh, that wasn't our intention for why we came down here. It was just to, you know, kind of check something new out and uh, you know, kind of get a a different vibe. But now we are heading to the beach because we really are gonna have a meditation session real quick, and there's no better place to have it but near the water. And really relaxing and um, this is something that uh, I did when I was like in a very very dark place and um, you know it really helped me so me and my buddy are gonna do it and I uh, will see you guys right after but it's pretty sweet
Sunday. Um, I'm sorry I, I couldn't finish the vlog last night. By the time I got home, it was 2 o'clock. And then I still needed to iron my work clothes and wake up in like 4 or 5 hours. So I, I just was so tired that I just wanted to go to bed and, um, you know, get some rest for today. But anyhow, you know, I really had fun and uh, I had a really good time hanging out with a friend and actually doing something different um, other than the usual, um, you know, party, get messed up, all that jazz. Like, um, lately I've been trying to do things differently and it's cool to meet somebody that we can, um, you know, share the same vibes or we share the, the same wavelength. Like, we're, we have a lot in common in certain ways, in some ways. And so, you know, after um, I showed him one of the bars, I was like, because I tried to tell him, like, you know, here in San Diego, it's totally different than where we live, you know. It's a different vibe. It's a different atmosphere. And so I just wanted to show him. After that, we went to the beach and we meditated. And basically, you know, just we, we took care of some things and personal business that I don't want to discuss um, just to respect his privacy. But, you know, we meditated and I brought him to a spot that I used to go to when I was in a really dark place. And it was a place where there was no strings attached, no memories, nothing, just a peaceful, calming, um, soothing environment, um, just listening to the waves and feeling the breeze and just being in tune with your soul, your, your mind, your spirit, your body, um, and actually just being at rest. And so that's what we did. And, um, and then we headed, we jetted back home. So, I hope you guys all had a fantastic weekend. Tomorrow's Monday, your guys' favorite day, everyone's favorite day. <laughs> but anyhow, I hope you guys all had a fun weekend, and I will see you till next time. The vlogs will continue the streak. Pushing and pushing, you know, and we'll grow little by little. We're gonna put in the work, you know. I, um, I've said this in one of my posts on Instagram, but sometimes life throws so much bullshit in your way just to see how bad you really want it, and I really want this so I have a score to settle with life so that's that and I hope you all take care peace yeah so the two Instagram pages that I posted is um from a dear friend of mine that I is cousins with my ex-girlfriend and the time that we were together and you know hung out and talked he felt like family from the beginning um one thing that i won't ever forget is when i first started vlogging he was like my number one fan i mean always encouraging me always being supportive and just an all-around uh, just real guy a, with a big heart um, we may not talk a lot but you know like I said I don't forget about those that help to me I may not talk to them but you never forget the people that helped you when you had nothing to offer and so if you could if you're interested into the car scene um, decals, uh, shirts, any of that good jazz, go onto his page and check it out. Um, real good dude. So I appreciate it. Um, and I just want to say thank you. You know, that's one person that really, when, um, when I was first diagnosed and I started vlogging and I started doing really good, he would always encourage me to vlog. When are you gonna vlog again? And always, he would always watch my vlogs. And that to me, um, you know, I don't forget those things. It, it, pure loyalty and uh, nothing but respect. So go head over and um, take a look at both his pages. One is like his, uh, I guess main account with his fa his car family because they have a car club and stuff like that and then the other one is like a page uh for special decals um, so if you want to go ahead and check that out and i appreciate it all right guys i'll see you later